Hey guys, welcome to Wrench to Drive. Doing a little uh, Tamiya Toyota Supra unboxing today. It's going to be fairly lame unboxing, guys, but I want to give you my uh, my thinking for picking this bad boy up. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, what with the state of the world, things have gotten kind of crazy expensive lately. And uh, I was doing a little shopping around and just kind of scoping things out that I might not normally uh, be super interested in. And uh, I swung back past the old TTO too. And I have to say, when things are getting crazy expensive, this kit suddenly starts to look like a really good deal, guys. And my thinking was, comes with a motor, comes with a speed controller, comes with a pretty fancy schmancy nice body, comes with some wheels and tires. These are all things I can use, guys. And doing a little simple math, the cheapest body I can get where I live is about 50 bucks. Cheapest wheels and tires I can get are about 15 bucks. Cheapest motor I can get is about 15 bucks. Cheapest DSC I can get is 30 to 40 bucks. That comes to around $100, guys. So there's 100 bucks worth of stuff in here that I kind of wanted no matter what. So at the end of the day, I get a chassis that, hey, okay, it's not the be all and end all, guys. It's not, you know. They're not the TTO2 is by no means the the greatest chassis you're ever gonna find, but it's not terrible, guys. And you're getting that chassis for uh, well in Canadian dollars about 50 bucks. So everything else, the chassis, you know, the whole chassis, everything in it, is uh, is costing me 50 bucks. Well, you can't get even an entry level touring car that's even remotely worth buying for 50 bucks. So how far wrong can you go, guys? That's my thinking. And I love building a kit, so there's all there's the fun factor too. And uh, yeah, so far, guys, it's not disappointing, not one little bit. So, so I've been working on the chassis, as you can see here, and I've been taking some uh, some notes because, as you know, if you if you watch the channel, I uh, I do some uh, some 3D printing and I, I make parts and post them onto the interweb for you guys so you can download them. So. As I figure out what's uh, breakable in this car, I'll be doing the same thing, posting some parts, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it works out. So far, I'm just going to share uh, my my quick nickels worth in uh, in in terms of building what I have built of the chassis, which is pretty much most of the stuff that matters, guys. So the gears are a big are a big. Uh, point of contention with people that buy these cars guys everybody thinks these plastic gears are total garbage and and uh you know they're 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 just terrible and i mean one of the things you'll notice if you if you pick up one of these guys is yeah they're they're plastic gears guys the drivetrain is plastic now i'll tell you if you put in a high power power system you know a big brushless motor lots of power you know 80 amp esc 3s it's not going to hold up, guys. It, I can't disagree. I mean, you can tell just just by putting it together that these gears will not hold up to real power. You know, your 3S type situations. If you drive real mellow, you know, it'll probably hold up all right for a while, guys. You get some runs out of it if you if you're real mellow and don't do anything stupid. But I mean, if you if you drive hard, no way, no chance. I I agree. That being said, I've did a little bit of research guys and and it sure seems like people that treat the car with a little bit of respect get quite a bit of runtime on it before you have any troubles and the thing to keep in mind guys is you can get the a gear set for these things the plastic gears just the stock gears for like 10 bucks Canadian but less if you live somewhere where a dollars worth more you know that's not a lot of money guys and the metal gears are worth a stupid amount of money. So what that tells me is that not that many people are buying the metal gears because if they were, the price would come down. That's how supply and demand works, guys. When more people are buying something, the price goes down. So seeing the prices on the metal gears for these things, uh, you know, like basically the diff, one diff and, uh, and diff pinion is, you know, about 50 bucks Canadian. Like that's crazy. That's 100 bucks worth of gears. Are you kidding me? That seems kind of mental, guys. At least to me, I don't know. I'm cheap, but what you know, whatever. All right. So are are they spectacular? No, but I mean, if you just want something to have a little fun with, you know, and you're gonna run 2s and and you know, not be too hard on it. I 
don't think they're going to be that bad, guys. Now, as you can see here, I'm uh, putting bearings in this car. And I had all the bearings kicking around except for the wheel bearings. And th those were uh, $13 Canadian, so that's not costing much. Uh, you can get a set of bearings. I found some where you'd have to order them and wait. You know, the slow boat to China problem. Uh, you know, 20 bucks, 25 bucks Canadian, so less than 20 bucks American. Um, on Amazon, I found all the bearings that you need. And 10 of each would cost you about $40 Canadian, something like that, maybe 45 uh, not a stupid amount of money, guys. And the only one where you don't have a lot of spares is actually the one where you're most likely to need spares, which is the wheel bearings. Uh, because you need eight of those and you get ten of them in a bag. Uh, all the other bearings you get basically two and a half sets because there's four of, of the other two sizes of bearings. What you want to do with these guys, you definitely want to put bearings in because the main problem if you don't is that uh, heat. Uh, especially internal, the heat builds up and... Uh, you know those plastic those plastic bushings won't last you know super long guys that you know you'll get some runs out of them i've run a car with plastic bushings guys and and it, you know they hold up okay if you're not going too fast you know 2s 540 motor you know they'll hold up for a while you stick in a brush let's get a little more speed out of it uh they're going to start to wear out fast guys and uh, one of the things i'll do is i'll do a comparison of this with the old wl toys that i stretched out to put the uh the outcast body on and i'll show you one of the things that happened to that uh, that car is that uh, I had the, AC, the A979 uh, base model because I got it super cheap. And it came with uh, bearings in the, in, the, in the transmission, but uh, bushings in the wheel bearings, where there would be wheel bearings, guys. And those bushings, holy smokes, as soon as I ran it fast, they wore out really fast. Like the play was ungodly, guys. And I've since put bearings in there. And... Uh, you know, it's 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 like wow! I can't believe how much those bushings wore out. It was, it was absolutely crazy. I probably should have done a video, but and uh, you know, those build videos aren't that much fun. So this car is no different, guys. You know, if you want it, if you want it to last, um, I would definitely suggest putting bearings in it. It's not a major expense, guys. If you're okay with spending the money up front and you can get your hands on one, uh, the car to get is actually the drift spec. Uh, TTO2. Uh, the, the hobby store where I live had the Skyline in stock and uh, what you get with that one is full bearings. Uh, you get uh, oil filled shocks instead of the pogo sticks that uh, nobody likes. Yeah, anyways, if you don't have any of the goodies and you could spare an extra hundred bucks, that Skyline is, is worth the money, guys. The extra stuff you get with it, the drift spec, actually not just the Skyline, but sorry, the drift spec car is definitely worth the money. It's uh, Everything you get, it's you're not going to get that quality of stuff for that extra hundred dollars. It's it's totally worth it. So, so then it's getting a little more expensive, guys. But you know, keep in mind that this car, the TTO2, uh, like the one I got, just the the real low end one, 150 Canadian, about 100 American. Um, to get that thing up and running, all you need is a radio and a servo and a battery, guys. Which you know, you, that stuff anybody that's in the hobby probably has. You know, I know a lot of a lot of guys don't really want to paint the body. You know, they they don't enjoy it. And my nickel's worth on that is, guys, that uh, I'm probably going to paint this just a, a one color, and uh, and use the decals that came with it. So I'll show you the decals here, guys. One of the things about you know the cheap Chinese cars is that you do not get this level of quality, guys. It is, it you just don't. You know the body is super nice and it doesn't show very well on camera so I, you know i'm not going to show you that but uh you know you saw the pictures there you know that super is really sweet the bodies are, are are nice quality to my bodies are not are not bad by any stretch of the imagination and with all these decals guys if you just paint that car one color put on all the decals take your time be real patient it's going to look really good guys you know and one a one color paint job is not that hard you know, it's it's the old story. If you get into the hobby, you're, at some point, you're probably going to want to do a body, you know, and, and give it a try. Well, with a cheap kit like this, give it a try. If it turns out terrible, it turns out terrible. Whatever. It's not the end of the world, guys. Um, everybody gets into the hobby and everybody wrecks their first, you know, their first body or wrecks a body, you know, somewhere along the way. It is what it is. Well, these these Tamayas are the way to go, in my opinion, guys. They're, they're just such good value for the money. It's... Uh, I've looked around quite a bit, and, and 
you know, honestly, where I live, if you're ordering them on Banggood, you're getting, you know, a car that is not as good a quality in a lot of ways. Like, a lot of things, they look nicer, guys. The Banggood cars, they they seem nicer because they come with bearings. You know, you might find a brushless one. You know, the chassis looks looks nicer. It's it's uh, probably not as plasticky feeling as a Tamiya. I'm going to tell you guys, the cold hard reality of the cheap Chinese cars is that they are not the quality of the nice kits. And I would put the Tamiyas in that category, guys. It is what it is. It's a very plasticky feeling car, but it's not that bad. You know, it's it's a fairly durable car. The biggest downside, guys, and I'll show you, is uh, is the uh, the plastic suspension is is the biggest uh, is is the weakest link on these cars, guys. But you know, for a beginner. You know, there's a little bit of play in the suspension, and the, the biggest play is right in these balls on in the ends, guys. And uh, you know, it, it's kind of it's a little bit frustrating because if they if they put metal balls in these in these ends, it would be that much tighter, guys. But you know, the suspension is not that terrible, and this is this is not even screwed together yet, guys. Like there's just not that much play in there. It's not horrible. The cheap Chinese cars, uh, you know. I hate to burst your bubble, but the WL toys especially, like out of the box, there's a lot of slop in the suspension, way more than in this Tamiya, guys. And it, it doesn't get better as you drive it. It gets worse. So all I'm trying to say, guys, is that uh, you hear a lot of Tamiya bashing, and I kind of tongue-in-cheek have, have, dis have disrespected Tamiya from time to time, but I, I really don't feel that way, guys. I mean, my first car was a grasshopper. Like, you know, I have, a, I have some affection for Tamiyas. And, you know, you get to a certain point in the hobby where you've had good stuff and you kind of don't want to get cheap stuff anymore. And the reason I got this car is, is basically I like kits and, you know, like I said, just the parts that I kind of had a use for, it, it justified buying it so, so easily, guys. It was, you know, the whole chassis were, you know, absolute max it's costing me is 50 bucks. I don't know. To me, actually, the Tamayos are just, are, they're kind of getting disrespected a little more than they should be guys like no it's not a if you're racing touring cars it's, it's not the way to go but if you're just having fun in the hobby what's wrong with it guys you can you can tweak this with you know a little more suspension travel so you can you can drive off road a little more um, you know you can you can you can tweak it a little bit so it's it handles better on road there's lots of lots of parts out there guys you can get a, a set of cheap shocks and it'll improve it quite a bit guys um, and the, the only downside is it takes forever to get them. So, you know, what I'm going to do is, is give it a quick run with the pogo sticks and just see what it's like and try these out, see what they're like. And, uh, I mean, if I'm if, if it really seems like it's not going to work out, I'll order some cheap shocks and, and away we go, right? Or maybe put the shocks off of the, uh, the Kyosho on there just to see. You know, I got parts kicking around, guys. Maybe the WL Toys shocks. Like I said, lots of options. If you have any cars lying around, you got, you got choices, guys. If you're new to the hobby... You know, one of the fun parts of the hobby is that as you as you you stay in it for longer, you have parts kicking around that you can put into a different car. And uh, I don't know. You know, if you're not mechanical, all right. You know, whatever. This is probably a, a video you don't need to be watching. But the moral of the story, guys, is that uh, nothing but positive impression so far. And you know, that was my thinking going in. I can use those parts, and uh, and you know, how far around can I go? And yeah, I mean, thus far, it's uh, you really can't go wrong with one of these guys. If you uh, if you like uh, touring cars at all, you're gonna have some fun. It, the instructions are really nice. The stickers are really nice. The quality of the kit overall is is, is very good. So I'll keep you posted on this build as uh, as time goes by. It should be up and running uh, quite soon, and I'll I'll have some run videos of it. Yeah, if you're into it. Consider the TTO too. They're very cheap right now. I kind of suspect that when the, uh, the when all the when the world starts turning again, they're going to go up in price a little bit, especially if the dollar is uh, is not holding up so well where you live, like it is in Canada. So if you, if there's one in stock near nearby, uh, think about it, guys, because uh, you're probably not going to get a better price anytime soon. And then uh, yeah, you're good to go. Wrench to drive or drive to wrench.